<clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, make the rocker board here, and what I've decided on is a 40 millimeter uh, rocker. So what I've done is I've I've marked the center of this board. Uh, this this piece of plywood, it's three quarters inch plywood, is about six inches longer on each side, so it's it's a foot longer total than the length of the board. I just want a little bit of extra space. And so I've got 40 millimeters marked here uh, at this point uh, where, the, where it intersects the end of the actual board. And I've just clamped on a uh, piece of wood here to make the curve. So I just put this screw in and, and bent it and uh, I'm gonna mark the, mark the curve. Then I'll cut that out and uh, this, this part with the convex portion will serve as my pattern. So I'm gonna use a long sanding block to sand it down. And, uh, and then I'll cut out two more, or really probably three more actually, um, with the pattern. And then I'll construct the, the board and then I'll make the um, concave for the bottom of the board as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark the other side. I'll go about cutting that up. So I'm going to, I've got three pieces here. This is going to form the, the base of the rocker board. So one, two, three. And each of these I'm going to cut out. Uh, these are 11 inches wide. And I'm simply going to line these up. I'm going to cut them out using uh, the router with the roller again. Uh, same thing we did with the uh, board core. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make a a concave bottom with this thing, with this kite board, and so I've got these three rails within the rocker form here. And what I want to do is I'm just going to place this board, which I've cut to the right length, um, on here. And what that'll do is when I um, shape the the piece of melamine or hardboard on here. What it should do is give me a bit of a bulge in the middle. So. Okay, so after my failed attempt with the uh, hardboard and the carnauba wax, um, I'm pretty scared of putting uh, this, which I've worked so hard on, onto something that it could stick to and uh, having it um, ruined basically. So I'm going to do another test and uh, what I've read online is that a piece of poly it's fairly thick poly, I'm not sure what the weight is. Uh, it's, it's thick, good stuff though. Um, it's supposed to be quite non-stick. We did find it was really great uh, for the urethane rail. It didn't stick to that at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate um, the laying down of the uh, carbon and epoxy on this piece of plastic. So I'm going to do some epoxy, put this uh, small piece of glass I got here and then I'm going to put this piece of wood, I'm going to brush some epoxy on there as well. And I'll just weight it down with some weight. And then I'm going to let it cure overnight. And we'll see if it sticks or not. So here we go. Okay, so that's, that's 
Everything we know. See someone scared. Okay. So, we stick us on the fire glass. It's a week. And we light it Okay, so it's the next day here, and uh, let's see if this thing comes unstuck. Oh yeah, no problem. So that's that's exactly what I wanted. 